in, I'll show you where all the magic happens. A lot of people ask me if I get nervous from fighting, and it seems natural that you would because you can get really hurt out there. But honestly, when I'm in the when I'm in that cage or in that ring, it's the one time in my life that I feel free of everything. I'm, I'm sponsored, he sponsors me, but when it comes down to it, depending on his mood, I'm either gonna work real hard for that $100 or he's just gonna hand it over. So usually I'll give him a phone call and see if he's in a good mood and if so, then that's my clear to go down there and just get, some, get a free pass. But sometimes I'll have to sweep his whole entire parking lot. I'll have to go up to his property and chop wood. I'll have to do some crazy stuff and then he'll hand me that $100. I'm like, Man, that's a lot of work for a hundred dollars, but I can't argue with that he helps me out. Like, if I need anything, if it came down to it, he would never let me go. Fast you can to the center. Go. Yeah. Doing good. Violent, come on. This is my Ferrari. It may not look like it, but it does a lot for me. My mirror's gone. The side of my door's dented. It squeaks every time I open the door. I got no radio. And so for some people, it would be you'd be disappointed every time you get in it. Trust me, I am. But every time I get in it, I look around, I see how embarrassing it is, I see people looking at my spare tire, whatever it is, and it makes me realize, like, like, it makes me want to work harder so one day I can afford something nicer than this. I went on to wrestle at Oregon State, but I had an injury and they said I wasn't going to be able to wrestle that year and everything else, so I decided that I should maybe start fighting instead. I Uh, for a living, I train MMA. Uh, my grandpa helps me out from time to time with uh, money for food or something like that, but I don't live the fancy life. It's just training and my money goes to food and bills and other than that I'm just Eight, two, three, yes. it's okay if it gets more bad. It's okay to so. I'd have to say the fighting's easy. Um, my coach, he's he's really crazy, I'd say. We go whitewater rafting, class five rapids, and I'd say that's scary. Every When he calls me up and he says, hey, you wanna go boating? My heart skips a beat because, I mean, I could compete against a, another opponent who's built like me, has the same same body as me, can same weight as me, but Mother Nature, you got that whole river pumping water down there. You make one wrong move, you go down the wrong way, it's, it could be really dangerous. And I mean, that helps me out because it helps me calm my nerves. To me, this is my arena. Like, every time I step in here, I step through those doors and I hear the crowd cheering. I hear them all screaming my name and I put myself to where I want to be mentally. Like, I want to be, I want to be on that canvas right there, holding the belt, being the UFC champion one day. And I know this will happen. I don't have no doubts, but like I said, this is where it all happens. I know in order to be there, it all has to start here. And trust me, this is where, this is where I spend a lot of time at.